Hello students, welcome to ACC 202 Managerial Accounting. My name is Dr. Claudia Mercado and I am an adjunct instructor in the accounting division at SNHU. I am super excited to be here starting a brand new semester um, that's going to be running from January the 8th, 2024 through March the 3rd, 2024. Okay, so we have eight fun educational packed weeks of learning. I hope all of you are ready. I am super excited. This is the second semester that I teach uh, part-time at SNHU. Um, I'm excited. I learned a lot. I got a lot of feedback last semester for my first uh, course that I taught. So um, I hope to um, integrate all of that feedback that I obtained last semester into this semester's um, learning, um, always with the end goal of maximizing student learning. Okay, so now in this short presentation, I am going to provide you a short overview about myself. That way you get to know a little bit about myself and what we're expecting to be learning in this course. So the course description, what are we going to learn in ACC 202 Managerial Accounting? In this course, students are going to explore the financial impact of short-term and long-term business decisions. By learning how accounting and other productivity information can be used to assess and improve the performance of an organization, managers will be provided with the essential information they need to execute growth strategies and select opportunities that create business value. So several of our assignments are surrounding um, the particular course um, you know, the end goal of what we're going to be learning in the course. Um, we're going to be putting it together, um, working on several continuous projects. That way you can develop um, your knowledge as we progress through the semester. Now, the course competencies. By the time you um, leave the, the semester, um, you should have a strong knowledge and skills relevant to the following items. Okay, so the course covers the following competencies which represent the knowledge and skills relevant to your field. We're going to be covering ACC 30076, which will describe how managerial accounting supports management information systems. ACC 30077, we're going to utilize managerial accounting techniques and models to support an organization's strategic plan. At ACC 30078, we're going to explain how managerial accounting is used to make decisions about short-term business opportunities, capital investments, and evaluating operational performance. Okay. So I'm going to jump to my educational background. Um, I started my educational background in a community college. I obtained both a certificate and an associate's. Um, I also continued with my education. I transferred out of the community college and went to the University of Texas Pan American where I obtained both my bachelor's and my master's in accounting. Okay. I then um, switched careers. I used to work in banking and then I transitioned into the education sector. Um, that granted me a little bit more time. I returned back to school and I was able to complete my doctor's of philosophy and business administration with specialization in organizational leadership. Okay, so um, I do have background both in accounting and in business administration. I have worked in the field. I worked um, and we'll go over that in a bit, but I have worked in industry and um, I have been working in education for the last couple of years. Okay. So this is a little brief overview of my work experience. Um, I used to work for a maquiladora, TRW, um, doing billing, accounts receivable, accounts payable, inventory, all of that stuff. Um, I transitioned into the banking sector where uh, the banking sector where I held several positions. I started from the bottom. Um, I was a loan account representative. I became a teller supervisor, um, a loan accounting, uh, an accounting specialist one, an accounting specialist two, a senior accountant, um, operations project manager. I became a vice president. Um, at that level of my career, you know, I was very happy. I had progressed quite significantly uh, from a specialist to a vice president. Um, all in the areas of, you know, accounting, um, operations, stuff like that. Um, and then I decided due to personal reasons to exit the banking sector and start working in education. So in August of 2014, I began working as a full-time instructor at South Texas College, where I am presently working full-time. Um, and there I've also served twice as the business administration assistant department chair. Okay, so um, I do have quite a bit of experience, not only in the private sector, but in the education sector. Um, 
My goal is to ensure that all students learn um, and that I provide the necessary support and resources so they can get um, the knowledge and skills that they need to, to be able to excel in their career. Okay. So I do want to note, this is just a very short overview, but I do want to provide some information and this is based on the feedback that I received from my semester one students. Okay. So I do respond fairly quickly to emails or messages uh, posted. Now, I believe there's a disconnect between the expectation of students and my expectation. I will respond to you, but I will not be giving you answers. Okay. Now, if you need clarification on an assignment or assignment instructions, it is very important that you ask and get those questions clarified before you submit your assignment for grading. Once an assignment has been submitted and graded, there is no resubmissions allowed. Okay? And a lot of students thought that I was going to grade an assignment, give them feedback, and then they were going to resubmit. That is not how it works. You only get one try at it. So if you have questions or concerns, get those addressed before you submit your assignment. Once I do the grading, that is your grade. Okay. Please make sure that you review all of the resources under the Start Here module. It shows you for all of those submissions that are written assignments, you know, how to review your paperwork for plagiarism. That way you ensure that the work that you are submitting is free of plagiarism um, and we don't have any issues with that. Okay. If you are working on a problem set or a milestone and need clarification, please provide me with the problem information and your attempted step-by-step -step solution so I can provide guidance. I will not provide you with the answers. Okay, That is not my job. Okay? My job is to guide you and provide you to the resources so you can be able to figure it out. But please send me the section of the problem that you're working on because you know sometimes the problems are long and miss, I'm lost. Okay, I need to know where you're lost, what you're lost, and what you're doing. So show me your work so I can be able to provide guidance. Okay. On the discussions, please make sure that you answer all discussion, discussion prompts in full and organize your responses in an easy to follow manner. Okay. A lot of students um, could have improved last semester on their discussions. I know you all get very busy and you just at the last minute want to be submitting your work, but it is very important that you address all of your requirements in full um, and that you organize your information so it is easy to follow. You know, make sure that you check for grammar, for punctuation, that the response makes sense, that it flows, that you respond to your peers within the established time limit, all of that. Please make sure that you print out your syllabus. That way you know what you need to do and submit every week. Okay, I do post announcements every week reminding students of what they need to do. But please keep your syllabus handy. That way you have a document that you know you can follow right along or you know whatever you need to do to stay organized to ensure you adhere to the established deadlines. Okay. So these were it's just some important information to please ask before you submit. Okay. Once you submit, that is it. Okay. I will not be allowing you to resubmit because you didn't understand the instructions. If you didn't understand the instructions, then it is your responsibility to get with me. Before you submit, I answer your questions and then you work and submit a, qual a quality uh, project okay, or assignment. Okay. So please take that into consideration. It's not that I do not want to help you, but my policy is once you submit, I grade, that is it. I will not be allowing you to resubmit. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about the course at all, please make sure that you review all of the information under the start here, that you get your resources, access to your ebook and your Cengage account. That way you can work on your assignments, um, that you review all of the information provided to you each module. Okay, go through all of the information. It is there for a reason. Please make sure that you review it. And if after you review all of the resources, read your ebook, you know, um, and you still have questions, I'm here to answer those questions. You can send me a message through Brightspace or you can always email me at c.mercado at snhu.edu. Okay. My office hours are by arrangement. If you need to speak with me, you let me know your availability, the date and time that you're available. Give me about two to three options. Uh, send me an email, Miss. I need to speak with you. These this, these are my available times and dates, and I will respond. Set up something, and we can either do a phone call, a Zoom meeting, or something so we can communicate. Okay. 
Um, so that is basically it for this um, short introduction. Um, I've shared with you a little bit of my background, my education, uh, what you're going to expect to learn in this course, provided you with an overview of if you have questions, please make sure that you ask before you submit your assignments. And a reminder, just a general reminder to always keep up with your deadlines. Okay, so that is it. I am here. I am available. I am excited about this new semester. Let's make these eight weeks incredible. Let's give it our best from day number one. Let's not fall behind. And like I, like I said, if you have any questions, concerns, do not hesitate to contact me. Okay. Have a wonderful semester. Until later. Bye-bye.